Okay, are you ready for the Barbie movie? I am. I bought some stuff, so let's try them on. Let's start with House of CB. How cute's the packaging? Pink wrapping paper too. So first up, we have a long pale blue dress. And this is in size extra small. I'm not sure if this one came in extra extra small because ideally that's the size I would have got. We also have another long dress in a salmony pink kind of color. And then you can tie the straps accordingly, which is great because loads of dresses, you can't adjust the straps. And because I'm petite, I prefer them to be adjustable. And last one, another long dress in pink. I thought I ordered four, not three. So here's the first House of CB dress. I love the color, but because this is an extra small, instead of an extra extra small, I think it would have been better because this is a bit big in this area. Yeah, I think it would have been better if it was my actual size. Next. Okay. Do we love? Because I love. <laughs> I personally would have had the slit a bit lower. It's a bit high for me. Unfortunately, the zip at the back is broken. It doesn't even do up. But other than the zip issue, I love the fit and I love the color. Again, I just wore them with white heels. Now I think this one is probably my least favorite one. I feel like I just prefer the silhouette and the fit of the other two more. Then we have pretty little thing. Isn't that cute? More pink. Oh, I ordered pajamas. <laughs> so it's a shirt with matching shorts. And they're actually 100% cotton. We like that. Then we also have some shorts. I think it looked better on the website. And then we have a strapless fuchsia dress. And it's a scuba material. We also got some shoes from Stefan Paris. How cute! I'm actually not the biggest fan of the square toe. I also got some pink ballet flats. That's really nice. I actually quite like that. But I just wish that the heel was a bit higher, so it's not too flat. I mean, I know that they're called flats for a reason, but... And then lastly, we have some pink lace heels. This is so exciting. I've never had this much pink in front of me before. I like! Again, I've worn them with the white heels. I should probably try on a different pair of shoes. So I've popped on the lace heels with them, but they're not really that comfortable, nor do they fit well. So going back. <laughs> popped on a pearl necklace to accessorize. And then I also have a very sentimental bag. This bag is the one that I used for my parents' silver wedding anniversary. It's 100% silk and it has some lace on the top with real pearls on it. These pajamas are quite cute. Unfortunately, they don't have any pockets, but they are 100% cotton. So I will be keeping this. I'm not sold on the square toe still, but it's kind of growing on me. Do we like it? Hmm, out of 10. Really? Okay. Okay, so I wasn't 100% sold on the dress, but then my mom came down and she saw it and she said she quite likes it. So if my mom likes it, <laughs> and then I'm keeping it too. What do we think with the gloves? Is it too much? <laughs> Definitely not when you're just going out shopping and running errands, but I feel like for a night out, it could work. Okay, so this is how I'd wear the pink shorts. I just popped on my own shirt and then popped a belt around it with the pink flats, but this right one is a bit big. I feel like it's been stretched out. <laughs> Not quite 100% sold, but they're okay. As a kid, my mom always used to dress me in white and pink. Fun fact, I actually only had two Barbies when I was younger. One being Audrey Hepburn in her breakfast at Tiffany's black iconic dress. Then the other one was Princess Diana. In retrospect, of course, I should have just kept the Barbies, but you know when you grow out of them, you just want to throw them away because you're growing up. 
Yeah, I want to still have them. Okay, so this is from Zara. Zara did come out with a new Barbie collection. I got this plain Barbie t-shirt. Oh wow, and it's actually 100% cotton. I also got it in white. I think I got a bit too excited when getting these items because I'm not too sure where I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> then this top, it's not my size. They didn't have any in my size left. This is the medium to large and I would have got the extra small to small. But it's probably best that I got the bigger size just because if it's cropped, it might be a bit too short. So we'll see how that looks. And then last from the Zara Barbie collection, a matching pajama set. <gasps> I got the wrong size. <laughs> no wonder it looked quite big. It's a large. Never mind. Anyway, the bottoms have a black trim on the bottom. Then the top also has a black trim with a B for Barbie, AKA Barbara. Nothing on the back, but there's already some snagging and I haven't even worn it. Here's the Barbie Zara top. Wait, I'm kind of loving this look. <laughs> something about it it's casual but cute what do we think these shorts I think are a definite no I don't know I feel like oh I don't have any shoes on <laughs> I feel like we could do better here's the Zara Barbie pink t-shirt paired it with my own pink midi skirt some wedges and my skirt has pockets okay that's enough <laughs> and again bringing back the white bag with the rattan yes now this top i don't know it's not really selling it to me i feel like this top i wouldn't wear it more than once maybe so it's probably not the best idea to keep hmm. okay so we have saved the best for last <laughs> just kidding yeah, this is a definite no because the trousers are too big. This is a size large. And even though the top is a size extra small, it's still quite big, loose, arms are too long. So yeah, it's a no from me. I prefer the other pink pajamas. Now from ASOS, this is very cute. It's a pink waistcoat. It comes with an extra button too, which is great. And the material is really thick. Now this one is a pink maxi dress with a halter neck. I feel like looking at this one already, I kind of know that it's gonna be really puffy, really big. Okay, I think I went overboard now with this haul because who needs this much pink? And then we also have another pink halter neck dress. This is like the emoji, but instead of a red dress, it's a pink dress. Look at this skirt. Isn't that gorgeous? This one's a bit more smart. Something that Elwoods would wear. Again, we have another halter neck. This one is very similar to the pretty little thing pink dress because they're both scuba material. Oh, so these wedges, I didn't realize that it's metallic. I'm not sure if you can see, but Next time I should probably zoom in on the product before I click buy. And the last item, look at the box. How adorable is that? We've got some white satin heels with the floral detailing on the front. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of square toe, but they're just too cute. Another thing is that the strap is satin and I find that with satin straps, it doesn't hold your foot in properly because the satin becomes looser over time. And it also comes with heel replacements too. Okay, what do we think of the waistcoat? I've just paired it with my own white long trousers, which still need to be taken in because they are quite long on me. And I've popped them with the white heels with the flower. They are square toe, which I did mention that I'm not the biggest fan of. But surprisingly, even though they are really high, they're quite comfortable. I might keep them actually. They're different. I don't have anything like this in my shoe collection. So what do we think of the halter neck? It doesn't drop down too much on the sides either. I've paired it with the wedges, but the wedges are going to be going back because the metallic gold and silver, I'm not the biggest fan of. It's the perfect shoe to go with it though, because it is really tall. 
and the dress is really long, but I'll probably stick with my usual espadrilles. Yeah, this one's going back, definitely. I mean, even when I opened it, I could tell that it was gonna be not that flattering and very loose. Even the sides here, I'm not sure if you can tell. <gasps> this is terrible. <laughs> so the sides here are just very loose. It's not that flattering of a dress on me, but on the model on the website, it looked really nice on her. Now this one, I really wanted to like, but I feel like it's not doing me any favors. <laughs> It's also kind of giving me mop head vibes. The skirt is a bit loose on the waist, but I like it. Do we like it? Or is it too much floral? It is quite unique though, and that's probably why I'm drawn to it. I just popped it on with the white satin heels. I didn't even do it up properly, I just chucked it on. Now this dress is far too low for me in this area, and the waist is quite loose, so we're definitely returning. <laughs> Is this not the definition of Barbie? I love this. I mean, it is very similar to the other dress. It's exactly the same shade, exactly the same material. However, it is a bit short, so you'd need to wear some shorts underneath this, just in case of any incidents. I feel like I should wear this to the cinema when Moni and I go and watch Barbie. <laughs> anyway, that is all from the Barbie haul. I hope you enjoyed the video. So much pink everywhere. And on that note, please do let me know if you're going to see Barbie the movie in the cinemas. My best friend and I, Moni, are going to see it on Sunday. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we will see you in the next one.